Good evening. Welcome to North Beat. I'm Megan Roberts. This November will be one of the warmest on record for many communities in the Northwest Territories. And the warm weather will likely continue through the winter across the north. The balmy temperatures are partly due to a natural weather pattern known as El Nino. Taylor Holmes has more. The impacts of the abnormally warm November are widespread. Animals like foxes, bison, and caribou struggle to break through the ice covering the ground and their food. It's also harder for trappers and hunters to travel on what are normally frozen lakes and rivers. Well, this is probably the warmest November that I can remember. It's been really warm and uh, we got a little bit of snow, but it's wet and then the last couple of days have been getting rain with it. So we're getting some icing conditions out there that aren't going to be good for animals. When you get that freezing rain, it gets a layer of ice on the vegetation and uh, it makes it harder for the animals to reach their food. Environment and Climate Change Canada says that this year, many Northwest Territories communities will be in the top 10 warmest Novembers on record. The warm weather is expected to continue through winter due to El Nino, a natural phenomenon where the Pacific Ocean near the equator is warmer than average. Anticipate warmer and drier than usual temperatures for the first part of the winter and more fickle weather for the later half of the season, as this year's El Nino isn't as predictable as previous ones. This El Nino can change everything. This is the, the, the really unknown situation for, for from scientific part and for the prediction part that can cause uh, a really challenge time for us because we are not able to predict. We, 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 we feel we will face with a novel weather pattern and challenges during of the second part of winter. Temperature swings, ice storms, and extreme weather are expected for the later half of winter. As we head into spring and summer, the warm weather caused by El Nino could contribute to flooding or droughts for different regions and may contribute to another intense wildfire season. It's advised that people prepare emergency supplies ahead of extreme winter weather and that those who plan to head out onto the land closely monitor weather forecasts and heed warnings from Environment Canada. Bonakdari also says that municipalities should start looking into fire and flood defenses ahead of the spring. Taylor Holmes, CBC News, Yellowknife.